Hello, this is Dori Horesco with Forever Quilting. Releasing a new pattern can sometimes be scary, but also a lot of fun. Like with my pattern Star Dazzle that was released in the fall of 2018. The response to this quilt has been very exciting and I can't wait to see the quilts that will be created from the pattern. Now I recently shared with you how I quilted the baby size Star Dazzle quilt. Well now I'm going to show you how I quilted the larger size, which has different layout that includes sashing and a border. As always, I plan on using a combination of connecting designs and fillers to make the quilting as continuous as possible. But this can also make the quilting path a little complicated. So I started out, like I do with all my custom quilting projects, by drawing some design options. This clear plastic and dry erase markers are one of my most valuable tools. The plastic is available on my website and comes in a 20 by 24 inch square sheet or in a 12 foot roll. So after I came up with a few ideas, I first quilted them on some extra blocks I made when I was designing the pattern. I did this not only to test out the different designs, but to also test out which thread color I preferred. I found out that I did not like the white thread on the dark blue fabric. So even though this quilting path could have been made continuous, I decided to eliminate a lot of the backtracking and break up the designs into different groups, including the dark blue areas, which will cause me to have many more starts and stops than I prefer, but sometimes the design wins. As you will see, I quilt across the top, switching back and forth between using several different rulers and quilting freehand. The different rulers used are listed in the description of this video. I will continue quilting each row, then advance the quilt, base my sides, and then quilt the next row. Once I have completed my first pass across and down the whole quilt, the next step will be to roll back up to the top of the quilt and do the sashing, the blue fabric areas, and then the borders. Be sure to watch the next video where I'll show you how I quilted the next area.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube so you don't miss the next video coming out soon.